Hi everyone. So let's do the textbook exercises today from the poem, The Story of Johnny Head in Air by Henrik Hoffman. If you have missed the previous video that I did, where I have read, explained, and recited the poem for you, then please watch that one before you come to this one. If you have already watched that one, then let's go ahead with this one. So I will go through all the textbook exercises, the exercises that are at the end of the poem. I will read each question and give you time to answer it. And then I will show you my answer. Are you ready to begin? The first set of questions. Answer these questions. The first one, what was everyone shouting? Do you remember what everyone was shouting? The answer, everyone was shouting, look at little Johnny there, little Johnny head in air. That's what they were shouting. The second question, what was Johnny looking at as he walked beside the river? Check your answer. When Johnny walked beside the river, he was looking at the bright round sun and the swallows flying overhead. The third one, why were the fishes dismayed? How did they show their feelings? And here's the answer. The fishers were dismayed to see Johnny walking so close to the deep river. They wagged their tails and swam away. The fourth one, how was Johnny rescued from the river? See if you got this one right. Two strong men used sticks to help Johnny out of the river. And this is the next set of questions. C, answer these questions with reference to the context. The first one, as he trudged along to school, it was always Johnny's rule. A, pick out a pair of rhyming words from these lines. The answer, the two rhyming words are school and rule. B. Which word is used to indicate walking in the above lines? Easy? Yes, of course it is. The word is trudged. And see, what was Johnny's rule? It says, as he trudged along the school, it was always Johnny's rule. What was Johnny's rule? The answer, Johnny's rule was to look up at the sky while he walked. Let's move on. Here's the second reference to context. One step more, oh, sad to tell, headlong in poor Johnny fell. And the fishes, in dismay, wagged their tails and swam away. The first question, where did Johnny fall? I think this one's easy. So here's the answer. Johnny fell into the river. B, what was Johnny doing when he fell? Okay, check your answer. Johnny was watching the swallows and the bright sun. He was looking up at the sky. C, name one more animal that wags its tail. That's easy, isn't it? The answer is a dog wags its tail. And now coming to this part, which is a little more tricky. Think and answer. The first one, why do you think Johnny never looked at where he was going? What are the problems he faced because of that? Here's my answer. Johnny never looked where he was going because 
he saw many exciting things in the sky. He always looked up when he walked instead of looking down and watching where he was going. Due to this habit, he met with little accidents. And now look at the second question. Think of a time when you were absent-minded and did something strange or funny. Share your experience with the class. Now, this could be a different answer for each one of you. So you just have to think of a time when you were absent-minded, you weren't paying attention to what you were doing and tell everyone what happened because of that. I can give you a few hints, some help. Maybe you got into the wrong bus or you forgot to pay at a shop or you brought the wrong books to school or you went to school in slippers by mistake or you went home with your friend's school bag or you prepared for the wrong test on the wrong day. Yeah, that's what happened to me once when I was in college. Uh, we were just three students in the botany class and we just discussed with each other and said, okay, tomorrow we're having this exam. And we went and learned for that exam. And when we came the next day, we found that it was a completely different paper. We had, all three of us had learned for some other part of the course and there was something else being tested. So what we did was we went to the teacher and we said, see, this is what happened. Is it possible for you to give us that paper today and this paper on another day? And it was just that we were so lucky because it was only three of us and all three of us had studied for the same paper, which was the wrong paper, of course. But because we were only three of us and all were prepared for that particular paper, the teacher spoke to the principal and she made us do that paper instead of the one we were supposed to do on that day. So that can go horribly wrong if you're careless. We were just lucky. And with that, we've come to the end of the lesson. I hope it was useful. I'll end now. See you soon. Cheerio.